Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the dentition and its types. The dentition is defined as the arrangement of teeth on the upper and lower jaw. Three bases are used for classification of dentists. The first basis is on the basis of size and shape. Accordingly, the dentition is classified into homodom condition and the second one is called heterodont condition. The second basis for classification of dentition is the attachment. Accordingly, the dentition is classified into three types Thicodont, Pleurodont, and the Acrodont condition. The third basis for classification of dentition is the number of sets. Accordingly, dentition is classified into three types. First one is called monophyodont condition. Second one is called diphyodont condition. And Third one is called for the hypodont condition. We will revise once again. The dentition is defined as the arrangement of teeth on the upper and lower jaw. Three bases are used for classification of dentition as size and shape of the teeth, attachment of the teeth, and the number of sets. On the basis of size and shape, the teeth are classified into two types. So the dentition is classified into two types, homodont dentition and the heterodont dentition. On the basis of attachment, dentition is classified into three types, thicodont, pleurodont and the acrodont. On the basis of number of sets, the dentition is classified as monophyodont, diphyodont and the polyphyodont. The homodont condition, in case of homodont condition, the all teeth are similar in size and shape. If you look at the homodont condition, whatever the size and shape of the teeth is there, it is similar. The example includes lower vertebrates like fishes. Amphibians, etc. In case of the heterodont condition, the shape and size of the teeth varies. Shape and size varies. The example includes the mammals and Heterodontus shark. On the basis of attachment, the teeth are classified into three types. Thicodont, in case of the thicodont condition, which is present in the mammals, the teeth are attached. If you look at the teeth. The teeth are lodged in the bony socket that is called as the alveolus. These are the this particular portion is called as the crown of the teeth, and these are the roots which are lodged into the bony socket, which is called as the alveolus. In case of the pleurodont condition, the teeth are attached only on the 
inner side only on the inner side of the in case of the periodontal condition the teeth are attached only on the upper and the inner side of the jaws why in case of the acrodont condition the teeth are present just on the upper surface of the jaws the decodont condition is present in mammals the pleurodont condition is present in marsupials while the acrodont condition is present in fishes amphibians etc the third classification is on the basis of number of sets in case of the mono pleurodont condition mono means single that is only a single set of teeth is present this is present in marsupials and monotremes the diploidal condition involves two sets of the teeth first one are called as a temporary milk lacteal or deciduous set and the second one is the permanent set this diploidal condition is present in the mammals the last one is called as a polyploidal condition in which the poly means many multiple sets of teeth arises throughout the life example is the lower vertebrates thank you